Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Um, ben is just on with Power Aaron uh, this morning. We are getting the field ready. It's going to be drilled with grass tonight, I think. Um, I thought it was going to be on Friday, but I think plans have changed. So I'm just going to come and see see Ben do some Power Aaron. Uh, leave the camera with him, hopefully, and then he can explain all of that sort of stuff to you. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video, guys. <laughs> You stay here because it's very warm. It's very warm. Second wheat that'll do quite well still. 
um, you could then just keep growing wheat, but the yields will just get less and less. So. Right, okay. And this, this wants to be grass anyway. There's a bit of a slack spot where water sits in winter. Um, it's just the grass layer that was in here was yeah, 10 years old and we're just starting to drop yield a bit. So, so put some in for a change. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, no, he's hoping to come drill it tonight, I think, uh, when he's finished his bailing job, so. Uh, what else will people ask? It's only a 13 acre lump, so had it worked up in two days, started yesterday just before dinner. And hopefully it'll be done just after dinner today. Didn't Dad plough it the other week? When yeah, he ploughed it end of last week, yeah. so it's had for all weekend to dry out. Yeah. And then yeah, came on the, with the rollers on a Tuesday. Yeah. So when when you roll it tomorrow, after yeah. you're not yeah. How much you putting in? What? How much you putting in? Uh, I'm having bags all together. It'll be a bit left over. Not so much though. What will that equate to? How much does it hold, do you think? Uh, about 160 kilogram it holds. Right. I think. It holds 12, 12 14 kilo bags, but these are 20. Right. Even if it all fits, I'd like to keep a couple back just in case. You know, like, uh, it's yeah. easier to judge. Yeah, we'll do. Um, I'll get you a shout when I know what's left and I'll go and sprinkle that bit around. It is literally only a little patch, yeah, yeah. it's somewhere now. You could probably drive down that way if you want. All right, yeah. next. How does your drill work? So there's hydraulic fan on that side and uh, just a metering wheel in there that then spring, uh, puts it down these parts and it just sprinkles out of them nozzles there. And then so you does it like scratch it in or? Yeah, yeah so it just sprinkles it on the surface through them pipes. Yeah. And these tiles just drag a scratch bit of soil over it. And All right. Pretty straightforward, simple machine, really. Yeah. I'll come and watch you have a do. How long will it take to do that field? About an hour and a half, something like that. All oh, right, it's so not going to take you long then. Oh, I think you said it's about 12 acres, so. Yeah, yeah. It'll be fairly quick. Time I get it calibrated and right. stuff like that. Oh, cool. I'll follow you down. Yeah, we've got to pretend like this. Know what we're doing now. Oh no, none of that. Just keep going as normal. <laughs> calibrating it all now not so what what do you mean by that what are you doing so i'm just setting the seed grade for what it wants because it's going on a little bit higher here and be enough to put it on at 16 kilo to the 
48th rather than 14th. Right, okay. Just to let a bit more seed come out. Yeah. It's usually very similar to um, grass seed, but I normally, yeah. I normally just calibrate it for safety. Yeah, yeah might as well, aren't you? Weighing scales and everything. Yeah. Proper job. It's pretty uh, straightforward to do this, so. Right. So it'll just do 20 revolutions out of there and then you just weigh it. So what's that equivalent to? So what are you weighing it for, like? So it, it, it'll, you'll tell it you want to do 20 revolutions of this and then it will tell you what it thinks it should have put out right and you'll weigh it and just tell it what it actually is and it will correct itself to that right okay basically it'd be I can't just remember what it is but it'd be a percentage of a hectare of 20 revolutions right alright then I can't just remember what it is though <laughs> probably like a quarter maybe yeah So how long have you had this machine? I bought this in October last year, this is a new one this season. Oh right. Do a bit of an upgrade because then it'll pick up quite a lot of work. Yeah. Years, so. Oh good. Uh, I thought this time we had an upgrade for a bit fancier one. Yeah. So, Treat yourself. Well, <clears> the <throat> other one was alright but uh, it was sort of, just bought it as a start up, you know. To get yeah, it, just to get you now. going. It didn't really, uh, it just, yeah, wanted something a bit fancier, really, a bit better for the job. So yeah, I keep just, your customers happy. Yeah, pretty much. Um, is it not really any different in how it operates, but it's easier for me to use. Yeah, oh, fair enough. Yeah. Right. I I would spill it all when it's a pointless test. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> Maths. <laughs> this is where it normally goes wrong. Yeah, it would be me and all. Yeah. Three point nine kilos of seed. Right. Tell it it's done that and then it should be set up then. As easy as that. Pretty much. It's a lot quicker than the other one. The other one you had to like time it for three minutes or All right. then tell it what it was, like work out off a chart and then if it wasn't right go and change the dial and the carbon and that's hard again. Alright. Bit of a faff then. Yeah, you could spend half an hour calibrating. Yeah. If the seed was a lot different weight. Right, yeah. So, so then you got to being like, well, it's close enough. That'll do. That'll do. Need to get on with it now. Yeah. Do you just put it in your computer now? Yeah. So, if three, four, four. So it tells me that I can do that range. Speed at anywhere from 1k to 48 kilometers an hour, and it will achieve that. Oh, seed rate. Is that a camera next to it? Yeah, so that's in the tank. Uh, 
So you can see how empty you're getting. Yeah, just something else to monitor it with. Yeah. Set up the water steering. Yeah, it's actually on the right machine still. Are you set now then? Yeah. Right. Set an AB line now, we'll drive up and down. That'll do. See how you get on. Checking the results of the grass seed coming out of all the nozzles and that's why. Yeah. Uh, I see my mouth. Thank you. See all the grass seed there? That's why he's just picked his machine up so he's not actually scratted the soil over, but that's where the soil's been like scratched over and you can't see any of the seeds because it's nicely covered. See maybe an odd one or two. But yeah, and away he goes. Rob done, he's done. Finished. Off to the next job. I thought she just ran out of the semi brecky. Right, we're on to step number three of what we're doing in the video. So Ben's now rolling. Drill was done this morning, first thing. Um, it's absolutely boiling here today and I've just literally got back from a local dispersal sale. So a local farmer towards is selling his cows. Um, I've been and bought three very hot and very sticky it's all a bit minging just got back and it looks like ben's got maybe two rows left to roll so <laughs> i'll go and get as much footage of that as i can for me to then upload this little video tonight it might only be a quick one but that's just the way the cookie crumbles um so yeah i'm just gonna stop talking now and gonna go see ben okay so from what i can gather he's just finishing off a little patch there that he's maybe just missed because the strip because the squeal squeal the field is not square so he's just finishing that off and I don't know if you can see the difference here on the camera but this side is not rolled yet and then literally there's the line where he's last rolled so he has got this little bit of the field left so I've made it in the nick of time anyway here he is let's get some rolling done or finished rather
he'll have to do another run after that. Last two runs and then he's done in here. Done. Please miss the tiniest slither. I'll run over it with the quad bike. <laughs> Not that it's going to make a massive difference, but at least we've tried it. Line the wheel up. Think we're on it? Yeah, we're on it. We're on it. Finished? I finished. How long did that take you? Uh, three hours, perhaps. To roll it. Yeah. Should I come working? Because it's hot out here. Yeah, it works well. Yeah. So go on, why'd you, why'd you roll it? Um, just to firm up the soil, really. Punching any stones or any cobbles of soil and whatnot. Uh, just so you don't pick them up with your tether or rake when you mow it. Does it help the seed at all, or? Um, it might cover it over a bit as well, yeah. Right. Yeah, and then you have the Cambridge roller. I think that's just to stop uh, like water pooling, really. Your Cambridge roller, that's the one on the back, isn't it, that makes yeah, the lines? Yeah. yeah, so that's to stop any water pooling if it comes proper wet. Right, yeah. Yeah. Cool, and uh, so how long do you think that'll take to germinate? Uh, probably up within a week, I would have thought. That fast? This weekend. Yeah. Oh. Only whiskers of it, like. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. And what will you? Will we do anything? Will we put sheep on that this back end, or will you wait until next spring to silo it? Um, I don't know. I'll probably see how far on it is at like the tail end of having your stall lambs on, really. Right. And might just chuck them on just to nip it off. Yeah. Probably like a couple of weeks before you're wanting to put till on to then leave it for six weeks for first cut. Right, yeah. Yeah, because you don't want any old grown stuff. But no. It, I don't think it often goes like that anyway, if it's first seeds. And what grass have you put in, do you know? Uh, no, there'll be a ticket somewhere. All oh, right. There's four farmers variety. Anyway. Right. Yeah. Good stuff. Cool. Grand. What are you doing now? Time for this effort at Arnold's. There's another? Yeah. Did he not call you? Yeah, he told me, but he said that he'd carved early, so he was going to let it get going. You've not turned it on. Do you want Dottie in your basket? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> <You're speedy. laughs> right, so that's that done. Ben's going for a new heifer, even though I've just picked four up. I did see Harold at the sale actually, and he said there was one, but I thought he meant it wasn't ready yet. But anyway, Ben's going to pick that up. I need to go feed calves. I'm not actually milking tonight, which makes a change. Um, I was planning on leaving early because Meg's just asked me for a cheese and cracker. Lots of ice and a drink. All right, Meg, it's coming. <laughs> um, right, yeah, so I'm doing calves. I'm leaving early because it's my friend's birthday party tonight, which I'm dead excited for. Um, so, yeah, I was meant to be going home around about now, but it's not really happened because of everything else that's happened here, which is fine. We'll just have to be late. So... What am I saying now? I'm going to leave it here, guys. I'm leaving the video here. Um, if you've liked it, please do give it a big thumbs up. Please comment in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't done already. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Crash. Do you want a brew, Ben, or when you get back? Uh, yeah, Any food?
want a cold drink and a cracker? Or is that just Meg? <laughs> Good girl. Let's go.